Welcome into Taco Bowler Gaming, and my name is Taco Bowler, and today we are beginning a new game in Hearts of Iron 4, playing as the uh, Japanese today. Um, I will begin this by saying that uh, I have not played very much Japan in uh, Hearts of Iron 4. I have not played very much Pacific in Hearts of Iron 4, except to be the United States invading. Um in part because I find it to be a difficult game. Obviously, you're facing the United States by the end. Um, I played a couple of games in Japan a couple of patches ago, and I wound up doing okay, uh, and then not continuing the game once I had to fight the United States. So I don't know how long this will go. I don't know uh, how well it will go. I make no promises. Uh, to success, but uh, we are going to uh, try anyway uh, to play as Japan, and uh, I, it is uh, an historical focuses, so um, I guess we will uh, do what we can to uh, to win when the war gets a going. But uh, on that front, we're going to have some good research speed going here. We'll get some research stuff. Uh, I know that we're going to be at war with um, the Chinese relatively soon. Oh, good. We're already at 1936. Do we have... Uh, range improvements might not be a bad thing. But let's see what we have here. We need a 1936 destroyer. Yeah, we, we definitely need that. Um, so, uh, going and looking at this a little bit beforehand, uh, I want this by the time I'm training troops, but I really want this stuff. Um, this gives us war economy for free. This is a couple of civilian factories, uh, and then obviously the research slot, and then, uh, what is that, four more factories. Uh, I'm kind of leaning toward getting that stuff and then running over here and getting this stuff. I also like uh, some of this, and I think I'm going to go ahead and start, though, with this, because we do have a lot of steel and a lot of chromium, so that's things we can do without building. So getting these four naval dockyards will help to get our navy uh, up to snuff uh, a little bit quicker and uh, more along the lines of the navy that I would like to have. So that's what I think we're going to do first. We must issue new estimates for the size of the increase to our navy and thereby the dockyard facilities that will be required to bring about this increase. Now, now let's go to production. Let's see what we're making. Uh, I do not like light tanks. That's that's not happening. I do like artillery. We have a need for artillery. Let's get these uh, planes up. Uh, Interwar is not happening. That that doesn't happen. Oh, this is okay. We had been doing artillery. It's down here. So we'll get that. But basic carrier navy, naval bomber. Um, for now, I think we'll leave that one on there. Although we're, we're we don't have any rubber. Which is understandable. Yeah, the truck uh, is going to go down here. Do we have planes or trains? Is what I was meant to need to ask. We do have trains. Um, that's not bad. I don't think we need anything else there. So yeah, basic naval bomber or carrier naval bomber. Here's interwar. So that is what we want. We just don't have any other uh, basic. Uh, planes uh, done yet, but we do have uh, the ability. So you see we have these 15 units of steel. Let's see what we're missing. 
We are missing 4.6 thousand infantry equipment, although that is not necessarily going to be the case. I am going to stick a few more here, and let me stick that there, stick that there, and that's going to be at least there, and that's our 15. Now we are five units of aluminum short and four units of rubber short. That is okay. Let's get down here. Uh, the carrier hull, definitely we're going to do early heavy ship. That is not very far along. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Converted, any carrier is a carrier. The, the idea behind a carrier, hopefully, is it doesn't get hit. So, uh, any carrier is a carrier. We're going to put that one to use here. 1936 cruiser. Uh, it is outdated. Uh, we're not very far into it. We're going to get rid of that and come back when we have... Uh, what we want. Early destroyers, um, I, I'm kind of inclined to say that, that any screen is a screen, and even if it's cannon fodder, uh, we'll go ahead and do them. Now, early submarines are just death traps. I don't want or care about doing them. So where are we at? We are now very short on steel. Uh, we, we do not need to create more than the one converted cruiser carrier. Uh, we are very short on steel now. Okay. Well. I guess we will uh, figure that one out because I have no interest in... Uh, utilizing the little bit of construction I have. So I have eight factories now. And we're going to have to uh, do some stuff there. So I think uh, we'll build some civilian factories, or no. Let's build some infrastructure. Stop it. Where we have the most steel. That's a good idea. We build infrastructure in those two places. And then it looks like Manchuko has a little bit of steel. So I can get that, all 38 of it, for one factory. And that will work very splendidly. Do I have anything like that for uh, this? I don't think I do. Well, Manchuko's 10 for one factory. That's more than what we were facing. Alright, so we're going to take these 15. We definitely want them... Oh, come on. We definitely want them in their own uh, little force here. Uh, these ones, though, uh, let's... Yeah, do we have any more of you? I'm not sure that we do. Nope. So my current thinking on this, uh, this is 44, is I'm going to turn all of these no motorized just purely into these smaller um, units here. And we're going to put them in their own little thing. We're going to put that there. And this is going to be our primary uh, defensive line. And, uh... Oh, oh, okay, I see. Not really sure why that doesn't, uh... Yeah, that's so we're just... We're not going to be doing that then. We're going to have um, them going here. But yeah, this will be the primary defensive line. And then these guys will be our primary attacking forces, strike forces. Uh, they're going to have the, the majority of, uh, of the strong play. And that's where we're going to be for, <laughs> for now. Uh, and hopefully that will work... Um, 
this is a 24 width. Uh, we're going to put some artillery in here. We're going to make it a little bit better. Um, I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to use tanked or motorized. I will be improving. This Marine division is a 12 width. It is still a Marine, so it's not terrible, but it's good. Uh, but you could be used improvement. And this is a, a 12 width, just infantry. We need to make it better, um, on that side. But for now, we're going to call that one there. And so let's get our commanders in. This is going to be the attacking. They kind of both have that, but this is politically connected. Um, so I'm going to actually use this guy. What is this? Military theory. Oh, that's dumb. I'm going to actually use that guy for the attacking. And I'm going to use this one for the defending. Even though he has a higher attack stat for now, that uh, military experience gain. Not overly happy with that one. All right. Uh, this one, again, uh, I like that infantry leader. And I don't like that. But I do like attacking over a river in a fort, so I'm still going to give this uh, one here. And then, is there a marine uh, specialist, an amphibious specialist among the ranking? Let's see if I can spell amphibious. Ooh, sorry about that. doesn't look like it. Okay. Then for our specialists, um, I think we just need uh, someone like that. Planning speed going up. That's not bad at all. Attack and planning up with an infantry officer. I think that's going to be an excellent one to have for us. Now, our best defense... Um, I'm going to put you on that one, and I'm going to put you on that one. No. Um, a one attack with a three defense is actually a great one to have on a purely defensive army. Now, I do need to set uh, these for now against the Soviets, because they at least had that uh, thing that would give them um, uh huh that would give them uh, oh lord what am I thinking uh, border skirmishes that's what I'm thinking And that's not, you know, ideal. Uh, so I think uh, we're going to try to just reorganize everything a little bit. And we'll see how that all goes. Uh, what do we... Oh, okay. For starters, I am interested, once all of our forces are over here what the supply situation looks like. Because um, that'll be that'll be a thing. And we, we are now actually further away in uh, construction or in uh, infantry equipment. So I think dropping that back and putting uh, some more inf into infantry equipment will be a good thing. Actually, these guys who struggle with supply. This supply is just fine. Though I'm inclined to continue anyway. That was what was done. Okay. So, uh, I think the first thing I want is uh, commando training. But some of you may know or have an idea of where I'm going here. And 
and uh, my basic strategy against China. All right, so we can modify the officer core. Uh, I think uh, Air Force Command first. We're gonna ground support there. So I'm not sure there's anything. I guess maybe. I mean, the elusive gentleman, the silent workhorse, those are always good things. Maybe we can get those eventually. So we have, uh, let's see, we have a Chinese operative, and I like that. Nanjing. But yeah, we're gonna be, uh, trying to get a, uh, I'm wondering if that actually helps, uh, but trying to get a, uh, massive collaboration government so that we don't have to go very far at all into uh, into things. Uh, so checking out here if there's anything else that is worth anything over here. Not yet. Not yet. So I think we're going to uh, go down the historical path for a little bit. A new faction has appeared, intent to take control of the government and strike north into the Soviet Union. We must eliminate them before they can do too much damage. Sure. Good for Turkey. All right, I think that this general is the most important to uh, be doing anything. I don't know which one of those is better. I think, yeah, Fortress Buster is probably better. And I'm gonna begin. No, I don't have any military experience. Wilson! May not hurt to grab some. Train our Wilson! our best forces. At least a little bit. Oh, that's not enough manpower to. To fill garrisons, that's what that does. Uh, abandon the naval treaties. Um, I don't think we want that yet. Oh, we get to uh, do this. Okay. Alright, um, yeah. I always forget to do this. Um, the military factor of the Navy... Well, we're definitely going to have uh, aircraft go there. Fruitable population, factory output, dockyard output. That actually kind of balances out. So I'm, I'm thinking we want it balanced at the end, which probably means we're going to prioritize steel for ships, unless we can only have one. Because it does say while active. But my thinking is we'd steal for ships, aircraft, army, and then maybe... 
um, uh, indiscriminate conscription and uh, air landing forces. Although that one's good, we'd have to do this, which I'm not overly eager. Although special forces, we're going to be using them. But I think uh, we get this uh, for now. For now. Um, do you need to research that? Um, I'll hit that one. I'm spending a lot of my points. Mm, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. And we have free dockyards already. Okay. Uh. Let's take a look. We have uh, nothing on the destroyer side, which means that we might be looking at trying to make a light cruiser or a submarine. We need the submarine. Because that's the easy one to make, and we need a ton of them. So that's what we're going to start making here. And then we'll do the light cruiser. But let's take a look at what we actually have in our uh, navy. Four carriers, six battleship, three battle cruisers, 16 heavy cruiser, 19 light carriers, 98 screens, 52 submarines. So we're going to first take the submarine and get them separated on out. And these are, I assume, all early. Yeah, they are all early, which makes them relatively useless, but we can uh, use them to go and, and uh, do their thing there. Alright, so I'm going to take what 1936 cruisers, light cruisers, we have. We're going to split them off. They're going to be here. These guys, these are early cruisers, and they're just going to wind up being screens. I'm not going to worry about them. Now, uh, the destroyers, these all by definition have to be early destroyers, so they're just screens. Now, um, we do have... Oh, come on. This stuff. I think... One thing that eventually we need to do is to make this the pride of the fleet. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to figure out what this is here. Uh, oh, I see. It's over the limit. Right, so we're not going to upgrade that yet. But what about this one? Okay. Yeah, I am going to upgrade that one. But I think uh, we start out by just splitting this in four. So that we have one carrier attached to each group. And then, obviously, um, this one will wind up in that last group. So that we have one carrier in each group. 
this will put um kind of curious which one has the 1936 so yeah the pride of the fleet goes with the 1936 that works for me so this is going to give us six which means we need 24 screens we have enough that gives us six we have enough that gives us six we have one more than or more than enough this gives us seven in this one uh we do not have enough screens in that one so i need to take and take all of these put them in here yep all right so uh for destroyers we're gonna do uh any kind of destroyer and we need 28 so to be a little bit safe there i think we um let's do 30. and make sure that the light cruiser is a shield light cruiser Now, sometimes my game glitches a little bit uh, on this. And uh, doesn't like to recognize the destroyers. Especially on this one, because we wind up with all of this nonsense. We'll see if that happens again. Uh, but yeah, I think that's where we're we're gonna sit. And uh, that now, Air Force. We're just gonna merge the air wings, and then uh, they need to be here. And we're gonna have a fighter. An A close air support come down here. Now the carrier ones are going to just be uh, disbanded, removed to reserve. That will be sufficient for me. We're going to come back over here. Um, no, no, no. I don't need close air support carriers. Just naval bombers. That would be good for me. This one I'm going to do last because I want updated. Um. Oh, 20. Goodness gracious. Uh, did, was that the case on one of these other ones? That has 60. That has 60. Okay. Only 40 on that one, but that's okay. We're going to wind up updating that one anyway. So, good. In that case, uh, we go ahead and put the inner war... Uh, close air support. On. 
on out uh, along with things. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here, and we're we're good and started on this, I think, uh, which is good. We are going to form the department, even though that's going to take away most of my construction. Um, I think it'll be helpful in the end, but I've been talking about gaming, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.